Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate GrooveFunnels and GetResponse, an email autoresponder. So when you're inside of GrooveFunnels, you go up here to this hamburger menu in the right-hand corner, you drop down, you go under My Integrations, you simply click Add. You'll see Integration Types, you'll scroll down till you see Get Response. then you're going to see an integration description. You could simply type in Get Response, as an example, then you're going to need your API key. To get your API key, you're going to need to log into your GetResponse account. So we'll do that now. Here I am logged into my GetResponse account, and you'll see the menu here, and you simply scroll down to Integrations and API. Click that. That will open up the options here. You go under API. You'll see your API key if you generated one. If you haven't, simply click Generate API Key. In here, you're going to put something so you know what this API key is used for. In this case, it's used for GrooveFunnels. And we'll go ahead and click Generate. That will give us the API key that you see right here. You go ahead and you click Copy. API key is copied, as you can see right there. Now we'll go back to GrooveFunnels and paste that code in. Here we are back in GrooveFunnels under Integrations. We'll simply paste that code in and select Update. Now you can see that GetResponse has been successfully set up for integration inside of GrooveFunnels. So to use this, go ahead, click Exit, and we'll go over to Group Pages. You can create a new site or use any of the sites that you've already created. I have a demo site set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the editor. This is a template right here, and you can see by clicking on this form, check your breadcrumbs, body, block, container, layout two by two container, form, hyphen, container. This is the form container you want either from a template or inside of your elements, you can drag one over. Then you simply need to come under configure, under integration, integrations, get response, and then select a list. This pulled this list from your list you created inside of get response. Here you can see I have a groove test list. Thank you. Redirect link, you can add one of those or not, and you simply click update. Now we'll go ahead and we will publish this and test it. Go ahead and give that a subfolder name, click Publish. Content save changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. Go ahead, click on that site, enter our information here with an email address, scroll down, and press download your free guide, and you see the form requires an input field with name equal email. So we need to correct our input form fields inside of our form container. Go back to GrooveFunnels here, check your breadcrumbs, body block container, layout two by two container, form container. As you can see right here, we have our input field inside of our form hyphen container container input. We'll go under configure. Under input ID, we will say name, input name equal name. Under email address, we will say email equal email, and we will go ahead and update that. So here we set both of our input fields one to email, one to name for both input ID and input name. We'll go ahead and click update. We will publish that. Content save changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. So we'll go back to our page. We will refresh that page and we will go ahead and we will enter our name and email address again and download our free guide. And you can see here, this form requires an input field with name equal email. So we'll go back and we will try to update this again. We will say here under name, name, name equal name. It did not seem to save that. We'll go ahead and update that. Go down to the email form, email equal email. You can see I had a typo there. Go ahead and select update. Publish that again. Content saved. Go back to the page, hit reload. Enter our name, enter our email and download your free guide. You can see there, subscribing, subscribed. Let's go over and check our list on GetResponse. From your main dashboard, you simply click on list. Then you'll see here, Groove Test List, and you can see number of contacts right there, one. We'll click on that. And you can see right there is the email orig origin API. So it really is that simple. You can see I made a few mistakes. Don't get frustrated as you move along. Simply just click on the forms, make sure you have the right forms in the right place. Sometimes you have to re-click update. 
Sometimes you have to check and make sure you don't have any typos. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos, just like the ones you see right here. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.